What is up guys, Brett here from brettdev.com. Coming back at you once again from Chiang Mai in Thailand. And today in this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about a question I keep on getting. I'm gonna talk about jobs in Thailand. So I still get this question on a lot of the comments on the videos on my channel. And essentially people are asking me, I'm a barber, I'm a construction worker, I'm a lorry driver, can I work in Thailand? So today in this video, I just wanna go over the situation of working in Thailand, what jobs you can and can't do, what jobs you probably wouldn't want to do, and if it's a realistic prospect or whether you need to start thinking about something else. And I'm also gonna talk about what options are available to you if you want to come to Thailand to stay for a long period of time or set up a business or, or something like that. If you are looking to come to Thailand and you do want to work within your current profession, the first thing you need to be looking at is the prohibited jobs list in Thailand. So Thailand has a huge list of jobs that are prohibited for foreigners and are retained only for Thai nationals. So if the job that you do or your occupation falls on that list, then there is no way in hell that you can actually come to Thailand and do that because it is illegal. So this list includes a massive range of things. So I'll just reel off a few of them. Right, so some of these jobs are agriculture, um, forestry and fishery, wood carving, brick laying, carpentry. Most construction jobs will be on this list. So if you're a construction worker, you're out of luck. Driving motor vehicles or vehicles which do not use machinery. So if you're a lorry driver, you're out of luck. Um, except for piloting aircraft internationally. So you, uh, judging by that, you probably couldn't even be an internal pilot. Um, front shop sales and auction sale work. So you can't work in the front of a shop. You can't be like a cashier. Um, supervising, auditing, um, cutting or polishing precious or semi-precious stones, um, hair cutting, hairdressing or beautification cloth weaving by hand, uh, and the, the list goes on. Um, Stonework, um, making hats is one, <laughs> making shoes is another, knife making is another, um, pottery is another, and there's, there's, 37, there's 37 items on this list. And if you do wanna check it out, what I'll do is I'll put a link up above and I'll also put a link in the description. So that should be the first place you look if, if, you, if you're trying to think that, that I wanna come to Thailand, I wanna, I wanna do what I do, back at home over there check the list out first because it's on the prohibited jobs list you just can't do it it's illegal um, secondly depending on what you do one thing to realize is that what your occupation goes for and what it, that pays you in your home country is going to be very very different in some instances to what it pays in Thailand okay so if you're a mechanic in England like the chances are you get pretty decent money um, for being a good mechanic if you're a mechanic in Thailand, you're gonna get paid like next to nothing. So the pay rate for different occupations in Thailand is vastly different. And even if you did come to Thailand and you wanted to do that job and you could do that job legally, chances are you coming from, the, coming from a Western country and doing that here, you probably wouldn't be able to cope with the lifestyle and you wouldn't want to work for such low pay. Um, so you may not even want to do those jobs. So that's another thing worth checking out. If you find that your job is not on this list, um, go onto some Thai, like uh, just type in like Thailand recruitment and start typing in your job and see what you get, see what the wage is for that particular job because you might find it to be very, very low. You, you never know, you might find it to be very high, but depending on what you do. So that's definitely worth checking out. So if you're not looking to retire and you do want to come to Thailand to, to work and to make money and to support yourself while you're here, what things can you do if, if, if your job doesn't fit the, the model of, of Thailand? Um, well, there's several things. So the first one is you can open a business. So it's a more expensive option, but a lot of people do that. So. If you've got money saved, you can come to Thailand and you can open a business. Uh, a lot of foreigners own bars, things like that. Now, there are some hurdles in itself opening a business. It can be expensive, it can take a long time. And, and that's a whole different topic altogether, which I'm gonna actually discuss in detail with somebody else who's a bit of an expert on it. 
in another video. Um, but that is the first option to you. If, if Maybe if you're retiring and you have a lot of money saved, you can come and if you want to risk it opening a business in Thailand, you can do that. But just bear in mind that there are, there are some major hurdles and it is definitely worth investigating in depth before you make that a part of your, of your long-term plan, okay? There's ownership percentages that are crazy and, and things like that. Second, and the most obvious thing you can do is you, you, can, you can work online. So that's what I do, it's what I recommend other people to do. Um, become a freelancer and there are tons of jobs online. There are job websites, there are uh, remote jobs. A lot of companies are adopting remote work. So if you have a computer skill, uh, if you know how to do web design, web development, copywriting, something like that, then you can just work online and you can support yourself that way. And that is essentially what the digital nomad movement is. It's just people that are doing online work in different locations, whether that be as a freelancer, whether it be as running a remote business like um, dropshipping, or whether it be working an actual remote job. So, and you'll be surprised if, if, if you've never looked into remote work and freelancing is, doesn't take your fancy, there are lots of remote working websites as well. So tons and tons of companies are adopting this now. So if you have a skill that is valuable and they can hire you, even as a VA, you don't necessarily have to be like a programmer. Um, you could be hired as a remote virtual assistant. And what I'll do is actually, I'll put some links below to some, re to some remote job web websites for you to take a look. And if, you've, if you haven't looked, you'll be amazed at how many jobs there are that are hiring only remotely. There are, there are huge recruitment agencies that dedicate themselves only to hiring remote workers. So it's definitely worth having a look. Finally, and it is an option, not so much up in Chiang Mai, I don't think, but down in Bangkok, you could work for a large company or a corporation. So there are actually a lot of jobs that will hire for foreigners and will pay fairly decent pay if you're working for like an international company, right? And a lot of those are based in Bangkok. So where to look for those? Well, I get lots and lots of requests and um, recruiters coming at me on LinkedIn and there's all the jobs are in Bangkok but it's amazing how many companies are in Bangkok and how many jobs there are um, I've gotten requests from like Microsoft line Facebook LinkedIn um, all these big 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 tech companies all have branches in um, in Bangkok and there are hundreds and hundreds of jobs there and they will hire foreigners right because they're international companies and they do pay decent money so it may actually not be as much as you'd get paid outside of Thailand, but it's still good, good money for Thailand. Um, I would recommend looking on LinkedIn if you want to work for an international company, but stay in Thailand. But like I said, I do warn you, it may only be um, in Bangkok. You'd probably be hard pressed to find a, find a decent array of jobs that are like that up in Chiang Mai here in the north. So that's it guys. I hope that answers your questions. Um, I keep getting the questions, that's why I made the video. Um, Brett, I do this, can I work in Thailand? Brett, I do this, what should I do? Brett, I do this. Well, well, now you know, so check out that list of jobs. Make sure you're not on that list. Check out what your what your occupation would pay um, if you're not on the list. And if, if it pays really low, then you need to think about doing something else. So you need to think about opening a business, you need to think about retraining, or you need to think about getting a job for an international company. So until next time, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Brett from brettdev.com, and we're out. Peace.